In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Windows Server 2022, uh, configure Active Directory domain, and join the Windows 11 PC on Windows Server 2022. Once we get this one, you have to click Next. Install Now is setting up. You can choose any of them right here if you want to install Windows Server 2022 standard evaluation because I'm using a standard evaluation version. If you want to buy a license for this one, you can download from you can download from the Microsoft. So for that, I'm going to go with the Windows Server 2022 standard evaluation. Next. I accept the terms. I next. I like to go with the custom one and click on this one. If you want to change the partition, you can change from here. If you want, if you don't want to, that's up to you. I'm not gonna go to do the partition right now. Uh, I'll just do the next. I need to start uh, installing the, your uh, operating system. I'll come back once it's done. All right, click on restart. After restart, it will process all the component. Okay, so right here, you have to type your password. And you have to click finish. You have to uh, send control all delete and type the password here. Once you log in, I will I'd rather like to change the server name. Let's go ahead and minimize this. We will check on this one later um right click on this one go to this pc right click it properties also you can click on here or you can click on here rename this pc once you click on there it will pop up your computer name and then change um you can put anything it doesn't really matter uh, i would rather like to say dc01 um and then click ok it will ask you to reboot i will reboot this pc uh, okay close restart now Once you restart it, once you restart it, let's double check the name. CMD type HOST name. Okay, so name change. Okay, now is time to change the IP address. So for that, let's do NCPA dot cpl right click it properties double click on internet protocol version and go to properties uh, use this ip address 
let's put the IP address for this guy let's say 100 for example 192.168.35.2 for example I'm just putting for example here for this one if you're using virtual machine um, you can use 172.0.0.1 because once once you put uh, once you put your DNS it will automatically resolve the 172 address so for that please uh, use 172.0.0.1 and then you can for secondary DNS you can use 8.8.8.8 .8 click close I make sure you are able to ping okay i'm able to ping google dns which is good after that let's close this one and we need now we are going to configure active directory for that we have to go uh, servers we have to go server manager once you go there and click on manage once you load all of this one so you can click on add role and features once you click on that you can click on next i will do right role based or feature based installation is not the remote desktop installation service click on next so you have to select the server from the server pool click next so this is the ip address we assign it so click on next and you have to click on domain active directory domain service check mark this one and then it will ask you to add more features click on add features once you click on that click on next and there's no nothing we can add it here do next click on next again if you like to restart um, server automatic you can check mark it right here if you don't want to it's up to you so click on install I'm not gonna do it right now so I'll just do it manually uh, I will click next and then it will start beginning the installation of Active Directory okay so it has been completed installation success so after that we have to close this and we will start configuring the active directory server this this one is uh, if you see this exclamation mark click on here so after that you have to click on this one prompt this server to domain controller so you have to click on this once you click on this it will show you to a deploy configuration whatever domain controller name you select from here this is the brand new uh, server installation i will use the new forest right here so if you had already configured the domain controller so you can uh, use the same domain controller name here and then um, use the credential for the existing domain controller so you can do it from here i'm just gonna add the new forest let's say um spy oops sorry spy cyber dot local and click on next I'm gonna go with the password here if you want to 
uh, put somewhere this password you can just write it down or you can just put somewhere in a safe place you will need mm -hmm, you will need it you can go ahead and uh, once you select the password uh, you can just go ahead and click on next so you don't have to uh, worry about all this thing it's just by default on and click on next so you don't have to create any dns delegation for this is the new computer and this is the new server so you don't have to worry about that uh, click on next after that so it will resolve the netbios name for you you don't have to choose so once it's resolved click on next again so this is the database folder um, and then logs files uh, sysvol folders by default you don't have to worry about this one you, it will automatically uh, specify uh, by default so and click on next if you are ready to go uh, click on next and then it, you have to review everything here whatever you did so you have to review here and then click on next after that we will say uh, you are ready to install so click on install i'm gonna go you just you don't have to worry about this one if you get this sign you can um, click on install button so click on next okay so it, it is starting the installation process let's wait It's gonna reboot after this click on close and close so it is restarting right now okay so once you restart we need to log in with our new uh, administrator password this is our domain controller password type the password here Active Directory domain has been completed. So, um, if you want to test it, you can go ahead and log in the Windows credential right here. Uh, this I haven't joined um, on the domain right now, so I'm gonna with the local password. Let's go with and so more options properties once we go to properties we have to click on add uh, advanced system settings once you go here click on computer name okay so let's do one thing first let's change the ip address uh, before doing that once you type ncpa.cpl let's go to properties and click that 
let's put the IP address. And then you in this one you have to use the domain controller uh, IP address so if you have alternate DNS you can put it here I don't have alternate DNS I will go with the uh, 35 one so click on OK click on OK once we ready for that we can go back here and click on change and domain click on domain type the dot local and click ok it will prompt your password put it the um, we haven't created the user here if you want to create a user let's go back uh, let's create a user administrator tool active direct and trust manage if you go manage right here you can click on here right click it new uh, user and let's say Bravo test Bravo next confirm the password um, if you want to change the password uh, with the next login you can click on here but I don't want to change it uncheck it and put the password once we put the password click on next and finish oops it doesn't like my password okay so we create a user let's go back and type the password and windows username click on OK and then it will ask you to restart once we restart it we will ready to use on so if you see right here the full computer name right here there's the already joined is already joined the domain so let's restart now okay let's use the Windows credential again click on other user we are going to use okay we are able to log in Windows 11 machine okay so we are able to log in with our domain controller if you want to check the computer domain controller right click on this one go to uh, so more options and property once you click on property it will, it will prompt you the dialog box if you see all this thing spycyber.local this is how we are able to join the computer and domain controller. In my next video, I'm going to show you how you can install the second DNS using PFSense.